So I'm standing here on my grandparents' balcony. This is the apartment that I grew up in looking over the city. They live on the 31st floor and then there's the lake right there. And I just love it. I, I, I remember how much um, when I was younger, this wall here was like, this wall this here was full of um, our handprints here and then our bedroom was right here. And I mean, I still consider this my house and I still consider this to be my um, place of residence. It's actually my legal address. I haven't changed it yet. But look at the view. I mean, it's just, I, I used to be so afraid of heights. Like if I dropped my phone, it would literally just fall down there. And I'm still, I still feel a little bit afraid of heights, but um, I would come out here and conquer my fears of, um, well, I did a lot of stuff out here actually. I was suicidal. I thought about jumping off this, the rails um, when things got really bad. I had dreams of going on the little train here. There was one of my favorite dreams actually was um, I had just finished watching the Polar Express and I thought about like the train coming and picking me up and taking me all around the world, taking me away from my problems and all of my issues and stuff. And um, I, I always cherish this time up here because it's just a time to think. And the building isn't the same, doesn't have the same people in it, but the scenery is still the same. I mean, look at that, the lake is right there. And then the rest of the city is right here. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. And I wouldn't have asked for a different upbringing. Um, I mean, a different, maybe a, a different group of people sometimes in my life, not grandparents or parents, but um, not different upbringing. I mean, I, I loved it up here. You know, I'm up in Edgewater and I still live in Edgewater, um, but it's beautiful. And the, look at the clouds though, like, especially by the lake. These are just beautiful. Um, and it's like 90 degrees here in Chicago. And we'll do one more look down. Ooh. If I dropped my phone, I'd be screwed. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit of my my childhood and my, my background. I There's just a lot, there are a lot of memories here. I remember we would um, literally go above the rail and like throw, <laughs> You see the cars down there and stuff? We're on the 31st floor. We would throw like dirt, me and my sister would throw dirt down there. And one day the um, <laughs> the building basically found, like wrote a letter to the whole building. The administration downstairs said, there are people throwing dirt downstairs. Please stop throwing your dirt at the people down there. I didn't stop though. I just loved doing it. There's something about it. Um, we didn't throw directly at people, but if there were people down there and I could hit them, um, that was really nice and you can just back up you know from railing and be like I didn't do a thing but um yeah this is a little bit of my life and um, I couldn't this, these are the beautiful parts of life I mean there are some harder parts of life you know I, I think I posted a video of, uh, yeah my last video that I posted or it will, be, it will either be this video the video after this one or the one before this about a lot of things in my life but this part of my life looking at this you know, besides what happened in here, this is, you know, where a lot of stuff happened with my mom and with my grandparents and all that stuff. Besides what happened in here, this life that I had all out here and that they provided for me was beautiful and I will always be grateful for that. So even though there are bad things in life, still treasure the good things and try to find that balance and enjoy it. And I'm gonna go inside now because I haven't fully conquered my fear of heights. And honestly, I feel like my phone might end up dropping on the ground and this phone is like $900. So love you all, have a good day, bye.